from Squallywood, it's the Dan and Run Show! Hello? I'm Dan. And I'm Ron. We are the Dan, Dan and, and Ron, Ron Show. Show. Movement analysis, one of the most important aspects of being a ski instructor or ski coach. The process of observing and identifying a movement, evaluating its relevance and effects on other movements and the action of the skis, and prescribing changes for enhancing efficiency. Oh my gosh, Ron, all of that in five minutes? This is a monumental topic. Just look at all the different labels it's had. Seems everyone wants the answer or secret to MA. What if we gave them the single most important factor in movement analysis? The MAAH, <laughs> Movement Analysis Achilles Heel? Copy. For that, let's ask Professor Von Kippersnack to explain the MA path and where in this route is the weakest link. Movement analysis starts with observation. That means the eye. This begins with light passing through the cornea to the pupil. Just like a camera has a shutter, the pupil has a shutter called the iris. Iris, not your grandma iris. This iris adjusts to accommodate the light to make a nice picture. The light waves then go through the lens. Finally, the light waves land on the retina in the back of the eye. The retina is similar to the film in the camera. The old guys know this device. Either way, it's an image. Although it comes out upside down, looks like you're skiing in South America. The retina sends the image as an electrical impulse that travels along the optic nerve to the brain. Here is an interpretation as an upright image. The skier is back in North America. Now the interpretation of this image is at the mercy of the brain. I can no longer tell you the path of the image. It depends on what is in the brain. This is where observation changes to analysis. So having the proverbial good eye is only the start. When a skier comes down leaning in with a straight outside leg, the expert and novice ski instructor see the same thing. The difference is in the interpretation of what they saw. Should the skier increase angulation or flex the outside leg or something else? So this depends on what's in the brain's toolbox. The virtuoso ski instructor will see more than just the two elements of technique. He or she will see those two elements plus more and balance everything they see with everything they know. In other words, their depth of knowledge. The instructor's toolbox will contain an understanding of anatomy, kinesiology, physics, biomechanics, equipment, snow, exercise psychology, and performance psychology. Deformation professionnelle is a French term that implies a person seeing the world through the narrow lens of only their profession. Imagine four coaches, each with their own specialty, seeing a skier sitting back. The strength coach says the skier is weak and needs more squat work. The sports psychologist says the skier is fear fearful and needs an intervention. The equipment geek responds with the skier needs a new pair of boots and their bindings move forward, while the biomechanist recommends lowering the skier's heel. Which pro is correct? To each expert, their domain is paramount. They are seeing the world through only their glasses. Without a level of understanding of all domains, the result is that some domains will be overrepresented, while others are underrepresented. Coaches tend to see what they're trained for. Maslow may have summed it up best when he said, I suppose it's tempting if the only tool you have is a hammer, the only problem you will see is a nail. The coach performing movement analysis needs a wide lens which involves a broad understanding of many domains. Depth in each domain will increase the chances that the coach weighs all factors and not just the ones he or she understands. MA is more than just memorizing actions or steps on a flowchart. The hub principle, the foundation model, or having a reference of correctness will do little if you don't have the underlying reason behind each step. So to come full circle. The more you know, the more you'll see. Or the more you will discern. Let's call that a summary. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on the Dan, Dan and, and Ron, Ron Show. Show.
Give me my-